Hi guys! Hello. We are student midwives at PAH and we're September 2010 cohort and we've just got our innovation certificate. Our idea was to design a scribe sheet so that in the event of an emergency everybody can write and keep contemporaneous records for the 25 years that they're supposed to be held in the notes. Um, we'd like to say to you that if you've got any ideas that you develop in practice then make sure that you share them because your ideas could be the future. Hello, my name's Grace Murphy and my idea is for an identity band um, that was coloured for patients to be recognised their resource status. This is to help support end of life wishes of patients and to ensure that intervention isn't given to patients who do not wish to be resuscitated. It's important to remember that any little change you think could be made to make a difference to a patient's care is followed up as every little thing can count to the patient experience. Hello, my name's Emma and my name's Gemma and our innovation surrounds the uh, medication administration. Um, mine is on transferring medication rounds from the drug trolley to the treatment room and mine is to improve the layout of the drug trolley and to make it easier for medication rounds and also to improve teaching for students as well. And for all students that are planning to do the innovation it's such a great idea, you can be involved in um, and making the experience for patients better and learning from the patients themselves. That way your nursing care can be to a really high standard. Thank you. Bye. Hi there guys, uh, my name is Alvinda. Um, I work over at Barnet and Chase Farm Hospital. Um, I've won an innovation award today um, for measuring patients' temperature in the anaesthetic room before they're anaesthetized. Um, I looked at the national uh, guidelines uh, set by NICE and also the AAGBI um, and I pretty much carried out an audit to see if these temperatures were taken in the anaesthetic room and if they weren't, the reasons why um, and I'll see the implications involved for someone undergoing surgery. Um, that was based on a poster that I published um, for my anaesthetic module um, for my ODP training. Um, that's already been published. Um, I've used that poster um, and the nuts and bolts of the findings on, the, on that poster to carry out a bigger audit with a bigger sample size um, and us, uh, to basically put together a clinical study, a clinical based study um, which I can hopefully publish which is currently being reviewed at the moment. Hi my name is Kelly and I decided to do privacy pegs for my service innovation. One of the things that students say, uh, patients say to us is they leave their dignity at the door. So making sure that they've got a nice enclosed space where no one's going to walk in on them while they're having their wash or using the commode make a huge difference to their patient experience. Hello, my name is Sarah. My innovation is about um, organised meal times. So uh, the staff in the hall get put into two teams. Um, one team goes out and gives out the meals um, and things like that. And the other team, before that, goes around and makes sure all the patients are sat up um, they assign themselves to a patient who needs feeding, um, and this way we can ensure that patients are being fed when they need, when they, when they have got their meals there, um, and the food is not cold; it's it's still hot. Um, it can also ensure that the um, charts are filled in correctly, and we we know what our patients are eating because I think it's really important um, to to do things like this. And I think it's really inspirational to know that this university is really supporting you and. When we first got told about this, it was really difficult because we felt as students we had no stance to actually implement this. But the university have been very supportive, and I think it's really important that you, you encourage. You, you were, we are encouraged to do this. Hello, my name is Una Coleman, um, and today I just want to speak to you um, about my nursing innovation society that I've set up at one of my colleagues. Um, as you're aware, our innovations have have been successful um, within our third year. So we decided to set up a nursing innovation society. It is important that we as student nurses recognise gaps in patients' care um, before they escalate any further. We can express um, and develop new ideas um, through our innovations and student pledges. The society will target um, former student nurses and you, the new upcoming student nurses coming into the nursing course. We aim, we're going to organise some meetings, um, speaking to students and trusts, and also speaking um, to students during your lectures. We need your involvement within the society to bring fresh ideas. 
By being part of this, you will embed the six C's and also support the NHS constitution and values by having the courage to speak up and commitment to make changes.